welcome back. Okay, in our last screencast, we installed our first contributed module, or rather modules. We installed Path Auto, and of course, in order to install Path Auto, we had to install Token, because that, that depends on Token. Um, that was cool. We installed that all by ourselves. Um, in the, way, the way that we found that was we actually went to the modules page, and we filtered through, and we saw that it was very popular. There's Token right there. Path Auto is just a couple down here. We saw as one of the most popular, whoops, one of the more popular um, modules available what if uh but there's obviously a lot right there's like there i think when we filtered even when we filtered down by compatibility we noticed there were still seven thousand in here to to filter through what if you want to search for a particular module what if somebody has recommended a module to you okay um and uh or maybe you're on you were on some online you know discussion forum and you're you're wondering you're asking people oh, i'm really wondering about how to do this and they say oh have you checked out this module this module called this how do you find that module okay here let me give you an example let's think back okay i remember i said that generally speaking the types of module you add the types of modules that you add to your drupal site will really depend on whatever it is that you're trying to do with your site okay well what are we trying to do with our site here in this case let's pretend that we were uh, remember we were adding uh, a song library to to our to our website right we had all these different songs and you'll notice that we set it up so that we uh, we could update upload an mp3 preview okay that's fine that works fine we uploaded an mp3 preview file to each song what if we didn't want to bother doing that though what if we're like we're kind of tight on bandwidth you know or, or server storage space we don't want to store all that stuff locally what if instead we just wanted to link to say like a soundcloud player okay or a soundcloud file something like that could we do that Okay, let's let's do that. Well, let's say that you had talked about this and 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 somebody says, oh, you should really try, check out the SoundCloud field module. Okay, so there's one I'm going to I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you SoundCloud field. And to do this, we're just going to do a search here for SoundCloud field. And here, this happens to give us uh, the, the first link right here, the first result is SoundCloud field. But if it wasn't the first result, okay, because we do have over 185,000 results here, that's because it's searching the entire Drupal website. We could just filter this down right here by modules because we're only interested in the SoundCloud field module. So there it is right there, the SoundCloud field module. Let's click on this. And now we're on the project page for the SoundCloud field module, okay? So in this case, let's walk through this project page. We see there's the title right here. Okay, it is a module. We see here that there's a little description and it says SoundCloud field module seven point blah, 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 provides a field for inserting a SoundCloud track or set. Okay, we don't care about the module 6.x because we're not using that one. We're gonna be using the version seven. Um, so that's good, okay? There's no there's no little screen screenshot, that's no big deal. It features a configurable player, flash player, HTML5 player, cool, okay. And I don't see any dependencies or anything that says require, so it doesn't look like it requires any other modules. And so out of these, which one do we install? Okay, well, there's only two that are available for Drupal 7 which is the version of Drupal we're using. Um, and only one of them has a green background and is listed under recommended releases. So this is the one we're gonna use right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and install this. To install this module, we're gonna click install new module. Okay, and again, we're gonna try doing it installing from the URL because that's really fast and easy. So right here, it's this link right here under the word downloads. We're gonna right click. We're gonna copy that link address. We're gonna go back here and I'm gonna right click and paste the link address inside here. There it is. Okay, we'll go ahead and click install. And now Drupal does its magic and you get a window here that tells you kind of a status update. And look, it says installation was completed successfully. How awesome is that? But remember, just because it's installed does not mean that it's actually enabled yet. So we need to click enable newly added modules. And we, this brings us back to that module page. Let's collapse the core modules so we can see what's underneath here. Oh, look, it added a box just for SoundCloud, okay? Drupal will organize all your different modules like this. Okay, so that's fine. Here's the module, here are the modules we installed before. Here's the module we wanna install now. We see SoundCloud, SoundCloud field, description field for SoundCloud tracks and sets. We need to enable it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that and I'm gonna click save configuration. Okay, so we've enabled this. Cool, all right, it's in the process of enabling. Um, once you've enabled a module, 
very often, and this is a perfect example, very often you'll say, so now what? Okay, and, and different modules, because different modules do different things, okay, they're going to work in different ways. In this case, we have to think about what was the purpose, what, what was the whole purpose of installing the SoundCloud field? module. Well, what we were thinking of is in the actual, whenever we add new songs, if we go here and let's say we were adding a new song, uh, the way that we currently have it set up, we en enter all that information and then down here we upload an mp3 preview. Okay, but we thought mm, maybe we don't want to upload an mp3 preview. Maybe we want to just link directly to the song on a different site, okay, like in the actual, like on, on SoundCloud, and then have that, have the song itself be hosted on SoundCloud, and then just have it show up in my website. That seems like that would be really slick. So what I'm going to do in the next screencast is we're going to go about configuring this module, because just because you've installed and enabled a module, often you're going to have to configure some stuff, and we'll walk through configuring the SoundCloud field module together. But for now, um, I hope that that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.